teased. Go get Elite 62 and more over at ringsidecollectibles.com using the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be opening up all of Elite 62 plus this Hall of Champions, Johnny Gargano, have been out of the country for the past week, and I have not been able to open my brand new figures. That's why you didn't get a full review on all of these guys, but I figured you guys would rather see all of them reviewed in one little set, and along with Johnny Gargano, and rather do one big unboxing rather than have the individual or duel or whatever reviews themselves. So hopefully for Elite 63, we'll be able to do those reviews because I really enjoy them that way. But uh, today, we're just going to hit them all in one, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and start off with Braun Strowman. All right, guys, so here we have Braun Strowman out of the packaging. And let's be honest, guys, let's be just dead real right here. I mean, Elite 52 and Elite 47 and Elite whatever the crap. Like, we, we've literally gotten this figure, what, four or five times now? It's literally the same exact figure as Elite 52, same exact figure as Elite 58. I mean, what do you want? Same exact pants, pretty much. You got a different head scan, but it's pretty much just a realistic version of the Elite 52. And look at my head scan. My head scan's got all kinds of trash wrong with it. Oh my Christ. And you guys can see here, look at the eyebrows. It's got a little mesh on there on the forehead up there. It's got a little mismatch going on. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, this let's, uh, it's the same exact figure. The only difference in the figure, oh my God, stop refocusing, you piece of trash. The only real difference, guys, is in the boots. And I gotta be honest with you, I mean, these boots are fresh to death. I'm a, I'm a freaking kicks guy, I'm a shoe guy. So, I mean, these are absolutely nice. I love the uh, sort of like light green and like the camo-ish khaki go color going on right there. I wonder what these would look like if you removed all of the paint. Would they be green or would they be the khaki color? Because if they were the khaki color, I think it would be an interesting thing for somebody to take them and remove it. I think they're green underneath, but I think the all khaki would look pretty good. Even though they're supposed to be Timberlands, they're supposed to be like maybe this high, not this high, like regular boots. But I think it still works. It still looks pretty cool. Uh, the pants, again, literally the same. Maybe some differences, but I, I don't see a real difference here. And in the head scan, there's a slight difference. But besides that, guys, it's the exact same. So now that we've covered that, you do get, you know, two accessories here. You get two TLC folding chairs. And I don't know why you would get two TLC folding chairs. I know this is from TLC. I'm not retarded. This is one of the worst pay-per-views ever. I hated the main event of this pay-per-view. A lot of people uh, complained about it, like with me, saying that it was a great pay-per-view. But no, no, Brad, it was not a great pay-per-view. But here we have the chairs. Yeah, I, I, TLC. And that pretty much does it for Braun Strowman, guys. Now we're moving on to the Big Dog Roman Reigns. So here we have the Big Dog Roman Reigns, guys. And you can see this is probably the best head scan of Roman Reigns that we've gotten so far. It's got that realistic technology going on there in the beard there. And I feel like we say that every time. It's like they get better and better with Roman Reigns. So I can say that is a good sign there. You got like the network spotlight arms going on from the Toys R Us exclusive. If you guys remember, I think they're pretty much the same exact arms. But you do have his updated vest logos in the gold. I don't know exactly when he wore this attire, but uh, it is a nice attire. I have a custom of this. So now I guess I can take my custom, throw it to the Wolves, and use this one from now on. I like this figure a lot. Definitely one of my favorite Romans in my collection now. Uh, his accessory is nice. You do get a new white strap Intercontinental Championship, so I guess this is supposed to be from his Intercontinental title reign, but uh, I like this title a lot with this Roman. It looks really good with the gold on there, and I'm always ha happy to add another white strap IC title because these are kind of hard to come by. You know, we, we haven't gotten too, too many, so I mean, I'm always happy to have one, you know, put it with the Seth freaking Rollins and everything, so uh, that is a nice Roman Reigns uh, from Elite 62. You know, we've gotten a ton of Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, but uh, I can never complain. I like both guys. I like collecting their figures. I think this makes maybe my 20th Roman Elite, so uh, I'm always happy to add another one. But now that we've gotten Roman squared away, let's go ahead and move on to Sting. So here is Sting, guys, and honestly, I mean, what is this jacket? Let's be real. Like, this jacket is atrocious, guys. Did they not learn from the defining moments that we don't like this? I mean, my, you can't even get the John Brown thing off. I mean, my Lord Jesus. How do you even get the freaking... And finally got the freaking jacket off, guys. My lord, they need to make that. They just make it cloth, guys. Make it freaking cloth. This is a nice jacket. If it was cloth, it would probably be one of the best accessories they've ever made. Uh, it's got some good green and black and gold going through there. Do not know what attire this is supposed to be, but they always give him this massive torso. Sting was jacked, but this is just, I mean, this is kind of over the top. Let's be real. I like the arms there. I like those Sting arms. The eyes, I think this is a good head scan. I just think the eyes need to be repainted or something. I really like the head sculpt and everything. I just think, yeah, get in there. 
painted up nicely. I really love the white tights. This is very, very sick. You got like the rainbow uh, scorpion going through there. You got the white tights going down. I may use these tights, like order another one of these things and use the tights to make a white attire somebody because this is, this is fresh to death. I love the white tights. All you got to do is acetone off that and you'll be good to go with all white tights to just freaking fantasy hand paint, whatever you want. You got some nice Cody Rhodes style green, lime green, and black boots right there, guys. Really like those. I'd like to make like a fantasy Cody Rhodes with these boots. Using these boots, you can make a sick bullet club or fantasy attire with Cody Rhodes or something like that. But that is Sting. He also comes with the big gold championship, the world heavyweight title. Really love this championship. And I think this makes like my 25th or 6th in my collection. So this will definitely go nice in there on the shelf or something like that. But now we have covered Sting, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to cover Authors of Pain in one review. That way, you know, we're not spending too much time on one. That way we can get them both knocked out at the same time. And taking a look at the Authors of Pain, guys. Holy Christ. We got Akum and Rezar. And these figures are so highly detailed from the freaking top of their heads to the tip of their boots, guys. Everything in between, I think they freaking nailed it. Like, look at these just highly, highly detailed in the pants. We got so many new molds right here. They got the gloves on there with the wristbands on there. Nice head scans. They got vests that are removable. You got their, you know, singlets underneath that we will take a look at. But my God, how nice are these AOP elites? We got some painted elbow pads over there. I don't mind that. You know, it's better articulation. Uh, I mean, what, do you, what can you freaking say? Not only are the figures and head scans and everything about these freaking fantastic, you do get their head uh, headgear right here, their entrance headgear that they, uh, you know, come to the ring with. And then we have the beautiful brand new NXT tag team championships and these are so freaking nice this may be some of my favorite belts that we've gotten from mattel so far with that silver dual plated on there they're pretty much identical i'm pretty sure you know they're not like the last ones you know where they were uh, one was different from the other with the different you know dual colors going on but uh, these are freaking fantastic. I love these to death. These are so great. We'll do a comparison when we open up Gargano. But uh, these figures are easily contenders for figure of the year. Um, you take this off like that, I do believe. So this, these vests are removable. You got AOP on the back right there. And then AOP down here. These are amazing. I love these Authors of Pain Elites, guys. Uh, who knows? We may see them show up on uh, MDT Live or Vindication. Who freaking knows? But these are freaking nice figures. And shout out to Mattel, guys. They killed these. Great job on these authors of paint. Akum and Rezar. Nailed it. Next up, guys, we do have Dude Love from Elite 62 with this beautiful Mick Foley slash Mankind slash Cactus Jack slash Dude Love figure right here, guys. Got the nice yellow and red wrist tape right there on the mandible claw hand. We got the freaking heart over here with love across his top shoulder there. New Mick Foley head scan looking great we got the uh, headband with that tie-dye design tie-dye t-shirt going through you got the rips in there which is accurate on the back they did the ooh have mercy on there even got the classic wwf logo on there or e i should say uh dude on this leg love on this leg white solid boots how he had it what a great figure the only complaint i have is no sunglasses i thought when i looked at this thing and mine didn't have sunglasses i thought that i got gypped in my sunglasses like come on brad he has sunglasses on the freaking photo on the box he has sunglasses on his little photo art right there i mean you can't even give me sunglasses with the freaking thing what is this his accessory this headband come on brad give me a freaking pair of sunglasses even though i have 37 pair in my accessories bin and i can easily throw some on there i think that it's uh you know a little johnny out in minnesota could use his freaking sunglasses for his dude love figure come on now but this is a very nice figure i love the blue on the shirt there and just this is a great mix but the expression on this thing's easily top notch this is a easy early contender for figure of the year right here let's top this video off with johnny wrestling before we get into johnny wrestling guys look on the back of his box here you can see that they have the new nxt tag title on the back of the box but yet he comes with the other nxt title the first version so i don't know what they're doing there i mean it's mattel you know they kind of slip up sometimes so i'm not complaining it's it's all cool it's whatever so taking a closer look at johnny wrestling right here guys i love the wrist right here with the black and red you got the diy on the trunks right there this is obviously a diy attire you got you know his uh the different emoji face right there half johnny half 
Some also Champa right there. Got some nice details in there. Got great open knee pads here. And then what in the blue hell were they thinking right here on the kick pads, Brad? They gave them the Seth Rollins treatment. They gave them the short ones or the Kevin Owens treatment. Gave them those short kick pads. I mean, that's just a big disappointment. We're going to have to switch this out with Daniel Bryan lower legs and then custom paint up some kick pads because that's unacceptable. He's, he's running around looking like, I don't know, he's wearing slippers or something. I'm going to have to fix that. But uh, I like the head scan. The, the, the bodies, I mean, in DIY, he wasn't near as shredded as he is now. But at the same time, I don't know, Brad. I would have liked the uh, ripped up torso right there. We'll probably switch that later on down the line, too. Or I may just completely change this into a Johnny Gargano, like, more updated attire. I'm not sure just yet. But uh, he does come with the uh, Gargano slash DIY Chompa t-shirt. And on the back it says nobody will do it for you. And then we have his NXT Tag Championship, which we covered from the box. And if you want a little comparison right here, here's the difference. And the new version is clearly better. This is just old time trash. And this is, this is the beauty now. So this is nice. I like that a lot. But now that we have covered every single figure, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at all the new figures that we got here today. So here we have all the figures that we picked up here today, guys. All of Elite 62, including the Hall of Champions Target exclusive Johnny Gargano that I got from my boy Matt. And, uh, yeah, these figures are great, guys. I mean, Elite 62 is an amazing set. Definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles and grab them if you haven't already. Um, I think this set's pretty underrated. I mean, yeah, you got the Authors of Pain, which are freaking fantastic. Again, I must say, definitely go grab them. If you don't grab any, guys, go grab the Authors of Pain using promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Or, uh, yeah, dude, love Rome. All the figures are freaking nice, man. I mean, what can you say? Besides Sting, awful jacket and terrible torso choice, I mean, my God. But uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below your favorite figure from this haul. Do you own any of the figures we got here today? Let me know down in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.